In this how-to video I'm going to show you how to set the bindings to a website in IIS on a Windows 2008 R2 server. First thing you want to do is open up IIS Manager in the 2008 server from the Start Administrative Tools and IIS Manager option. From here we expand our server, our sites, our default website and on the right hand side we click bindings. Bindings is the TCP port that is allowed to access the website and by default all bindings are set up with port 80 which is the HTTP protocol and TCP. From here we can edit that, we can change the IP address if there's more than one IP address on the server to go from all unassigned to that specific IP address. We can also edit the port uh, or we can put in a host name which is a host header. A host header allows the same IP address to respond to multiple website requests but it divides it up by the name of the host itself. So from here we'll just go ahead and put in test.com and we will go ahead and click close. Go back into the bindings and I highlight that, click edit, and we'll see that any time someone comes to test.com they'll go ahead and get this website. We can add an additional binding and put in child.test.com as an additional host header and we can leave that at port 80. From here we can also add an additional port. We can go HTTPS which is a secure port we can choose the test certificate we created earlier and we don't need to put the host name in because it will use the ones from the port 80 and we can click OK. So now this particular website will respond to test.com, child.test.com on either the 80 or the secure socket layer HTTPS 443.